again everybody just popping in again to show you another um, little MDF project that Lisa Horton Crafts will be bringing out and they will be appearing on Creating Craft on the 3rd of September all being well um, this one is a perpetual calendar it's so easy to put together um, I'm just going to show you basically how it's going to go together and then what I'm going to do is decorate it as we go along so that we're decorating and assembling all in one go just to show you how quick and easy it is okay so if we just go through the parts first you've got a base two sides and a back that's simple you've got your three pieces that make up the feet these work on the same principle as the storage cabinet that Lisa had on her previous show and then you've got the pieces that make up the two cubes so there's 12 pieces that make up two cubes okay quite straightforward quite plain and simple and easy so as I said what we're going to do is decorate it as we go along now I've done a little bit of preparation um, ahead of time now I've used the joy to the world um, plain papers there is also the Joy to the World paper pad, which is coming on the show um, on the 3rd of September, along with all the MDF. So that's why I've decided to use that today, just to show you that um, although it's it's primarily a Christmas show, it doesn't necessarily have to be decorated in a Christmas way. And my thinking behind it really was a perpetual calendar is there for the whole of the year. So it, it won't necessarily want to look like Christmas in the middle of the summer if we ever get a summer that is okay so first off I've cut my papers and quite simply all I've done is put the MDF down draw around it and cut it and then I'm just going to glue it to the MDF leaving of course these tabs here because these tabs are going to be the pieces that fit it all together so you don't want to get paper on that because you won't get a proper fit on your paper so you can see even the plain papers have a, a Christmas theme on the back and that is that is the theme of the joy to the world to be honest um, but I, I didn't want um, a lot of fairies and angels and things because as I say I feel that uh, the perpetual calendar is there for the year and I don't want Christmas things in the middle of August um, that might just be me but anyway so I'm just going to glue this down on here just make sure you line it up so that the pattern fits the MDF so there's no, no gaps anywhere okay you can see that I love this colour um, this colour and mustard together I think are um, two of my favourite colours a really nice combination so again put the paper to fit your MDF and then just glue the paper I mean you can glue the MDF if you wish but whichever is easiest for you I always find gluing the paper is probably the way to go it is for me anyway so then I'll just put that down same as I did on the other side now obviously you're drawing around a piece of MDF so when you cut it out try and cut the paper on the line that you've drawn not outside that line because then otherwise if you do that you're going to have quite an overlap on the papers if you've got a bit of an overlap which I have here I'll show you a way around getting rid of that when we've put everything together okay so that's the back done so now I've got two sides and I was only going to put the paper on one side but I've decided that I want it on both. So I've cut out four pieces exactly the same to fit onto the sides of the, the box where the cubes will stand. I really love the idea of this calendar because there's no worrying about getting the right month, remembering to change the month over. All you've got to do is turn the cube round. I think that's fab. Okay, so there's your one side. Turn it over. Add your other side. Uh, 
it's so quick and easy this um, a lot of Danny's NDF um, projects that Lisa brings to Creating Craft are designed in such a way that you don't have to be a mechanical genius to put them together um, some are a little bit more complicated than others but that's what I'm here for hopefully to try and show you how to put it together without too many problems okay so that was one side so I just do the other side in exactly the same way just put that down there I try and make sure that the bottom is level so that even if you've got a little bit of an overlap on your paper at the top we can get rid of that afterwards and it's not going to spoil anything last thing you want to do is go through all this and then find that your project won't stick together properly because your papers have um, overlapped slightly on your MDF there's ways around it but just trying to make life as easy as we possibly can because nobody likes to do complicated really do they okay so there's your two sides done okay so those are going to go on there like that okay so that's that they're going to sit on there I'll do those in a second because i'm just going to put the pieces on the base i wasn't going to put paper on the base but i thought you know what in in the in the bigger scheme why not there's uh, there's plenty of pieces of uh, paper in this pad that um, you're not you're certainly not going to run out very quickly that's for certain okay just turn it over and pop the paper on the other side as well again I'm using my cosmic shimmer glue because it does give me that little bit of time to move things around if I need to but these seem pretty pretty okay really okay so we've put the papers on here now all we've got to do is just put this unit together okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the sides on first and then I'm going to put the base on okay so I'm just going to put the glue on the little recesses here and on the other side so that I can just slot my side pieces into place like so and then I'm just going to hold that on both sides so that they just sit in place while the glue takes okay it doesn't take very long this glue is um, it's quite good at, at taking quite quickly so and even if it moves to be honest once the base is in place, it's not going to go very far anyway. They're, not, they're just not going to do what I want them to do, to be honest. So I'm going to cheat. I'm going to stand that there like that, so that that doesn't move. And then I'm going to put my glue on the recesses here, and the recesses on the side. And then just pop that base into place, like so. Put the two sides in, fit the two sides in, like so. Stand it up, and now you've got your basic shape. And I can see these papers here are just a little bit proud of the. MDF. We're going to get round that in a little while. Okay, so you can see that there. That's quite quite sturdy. So there's your basic shape. I'm going to leave that to set while I put the cube together for the calendar part of it. Okay, so I'll put that to one side. Um, I'll just do the feet first, and then while the feet are drying and setting, um, we can. We can put the cubes together. Okay, so remember these from the cabinet. These are so easy to put together and they will form your 
feet. That just slots into there like that. You just hold on to that for a couple of seconds while that glue takes. Not going to take very long at all. And then the same on here. Just a little bit of glue on those recesses there. And there. Just so that those sit nicely on top of there like that. Just wipe any little glue runs away. Not going to show when it's when it's dry anyway. Okay, so those are your feet, and those are more or less done, ready to decorate. I'm not going to decorate those with paper. I think I might paint those gold, but I haven't decided yet. So then. We're moving forward and we're going to make the two little boxes. Uh, these are so easy to put together. Um, there are three different cutouts and they all fit together perfectly. So I'm using these two as the four sides and these two as the tops. Okay, so easy to put together. It's very clever, young Danny. The way he puts these, the way he has these ideas. I don't know where he gets them from, to be honest, but always like the idea of these perpetual calendars because they're just I just think they're such fun so I'll just put a little bit of glue there and as I say these are so easy to put together I'm going to leave the burnished sides on the inside because you're never going to see the insides of these little boxes so it's not going to matter that those those burnish marks are there. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my glue on here, on those little recesses, like so, and then put that piece in there and hold that together. Just wipe the little glue runs off. I'm adding paper to the outside of mine, um, so. Those, those glue runs shouldn't make a great deal of difference. So then I'm just going to add, again, glue into the little recesses on the top here. Pop the top in there. Hold that in place. Flip it over. And do exactly the same on the other side. Did I tell you this was quick or did I tell you this was quick? And again, just pop that one on there like that. Okay, so that's your little cube for your calendar made ready. So now I'm going to decorate it. And I've already done one here just to save a little bit of time. So you can see there's no, there's no marks anywhere. They fit together perfectly. I've measured the papers, which again have come from the Joy of the World paper um, plain papers um, and these numbers were cut out of the same paper pad so that all the colours coordinated so let's just go ahead and put all these papers on the cube dead quick dead simple um, I might add some embellishments to the, the box that the, that the cubes sit in um, once I've finished the little this little video and then I'll put a picture on at the end um, of not only mine but some of the um, calendars that the design team have decorated uh, I wouldn't have thought you could get so many totally different looks just using one product um, but you'll be amazed at, at some of the differences that the team have come up with and the colours and the designs are just, well, they're just wow. So once you get your kit, I should be looking forward to seeing what you all come up with for your calendars. As I said, some of them are a bit Christmassy. Um, I've chosen not to do a Christmas-based calendar because... I shall use the calendar all year round so I didn't want it to just be 
a winter based one or a Christmas based one. So that's why I've gone with these neutral colours. And then whatever embellishment I decide to add onto perhaps the back. Um, I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet but you'll see at the end of the video when the pictures go go up at the end what I finished up doing. Okay, so I mean how simple is this? As I've said to you before, your preparation time is probably what takes you the time on something like this. Um, thinking about how you're going to decorate it, thinking what papers you're going to use, whether you're going to use acrylics or, or whatever. This MDF lends itself quite superbly to whatever you want to use to be fair. Okay, so that's all my papers on. I probably will distress the edges so that it looks a little bit more antiquified. So when I'm doing the numbers, <clears throat> all you've got to remember is that there is um, an 11th in the month, a 22nd in the month, and a 30th and a 31st. So providing you've got the right numbers on the, on the right blocks, you're going to have the right amount of um, configurations. That's the word I'm looking for. It's a big word for early in the morning, that is for me. Anyway, so the number nine, you'll only need one because you can turn it upside down and use it as a number six. So you'll need two twos, two zeros and two ones. So wherever you place them on the cube doesn't really matter so long as those are the um, combination of numbers that you use. That way you will get every date of the month that you need. OK, so I'm just going to go ahead and put these numbers on here. Which again, as I said, I've cut out using um, Lisa's polka dot number uh, die. I haven't used the stamps because I wanted the pattern on the paper to to be prominent. So that's why I've used the, the papers, not the, the stamps. But the number dies just are the perfect size for this. I mean, they just sit in the middle and they look fabulous. So if you haven't got them, well worth getting. Um, they're so versatile for any number of cards you know those special big birthday cards or children's birthday cards where they always like to see their age on the card these number dies are just are just superb they're good quality they cut superbly um, and to be honest you will wonder how you ever managed without them once you've got them and I know that sounds like that's a selling pitch, but it isn't because I, I can't believe how many times I've used them already. Um, they're just they're just fabulous. So, and the set actually comes with the TH, the RD, and the yeah, the RD and the ND. You know, first, second, third, that sort of thing, and. They come with the word cut out today and birthday. Um, so, you know, one set of dies gives you everything you need for your card making or your gift making that you want a, an age on it or a number on it in, in some shape or form. So it is really one of the most useful die sets I've ever, I've ever had. Oh, there's another one here somewhere. So that's all my numbers added. How quick was that? Cutting the numbers out probably takes longer than all of this put together. Okay, so then those will sit on your perpetual calendar box like that. As I said, you can have the six or the nine. It doesn't make any difference because it looks superb either way round. Every date you need, you will have there. Okay. So that's those done. I'll just pop those out of there for a second while I put the feet on. Now as we glued these together earlier on obviously and I've since painted them gold because I didn't want to use papers on these I just wanted the I just wanted to paint them gold 
and in order to tie it all in I've gone round the edges in gold as well so these are going to fit perfectly on the bottom of your um, box there okay so I'm just going to pop my glue along here just a quick run of glue I know I've gone over the edges with the paint but it's not going to interfere with anything because nothing's going to I haven't got to sort of lock anything in place so these are going to fit perfect they are a perfect measure, measured fit for this box see and then I would just leave that to one side just to set so that you know that those feet are not going to move okay but don't those feet just set that off really really nicely so then I'm just going to pop my my cubes back in there and then I'll probably put some sort of embellishment on here I may even decorate the sides and the back haven't decided yet but quite simply that's your perpetual calendar put together um, in next to no time really it's quite easy to put together there are you know, so few pieces I really don't think you're going to struggle the only thing you need to make sure of is that you include all the right numbers and that you double up on the right ones which was the zero the one and the two so you only need one three you only need one nine because you'll turn that upside down for the six so zero one and two are the ones you need to duplicate and then that will give you every date that you need okay so i hope you enjoyed that and um, i hope you managed to get hold of one if that's what you want to do and as i say i will put some pictures on at the end of this little video of the projects that the design team have made so that you can see just what sort of variety and what sort of different ways you can decorate it enjoy the rest of your day and um, see you again soon bye mm -hmm.